here welcome back to my channel my name is Shelby and today I'm going to be doing my one year on booktube Q&A I posted last week my announcement that I reached one year on booktube and I am so happy about it so thank you all of you who watched that and left me some questions so let's get right into it the first question I have is from Kendra and she asked what made me want to start a booktube channel so I started my booktube channel a couple of months after I had Avery I had just become a stay-at-home mom and I was pretty isolated at home I wasn't seeing a lot of friends and things so I really wanted some human interaction as well as I wanted to be motivated to read more books. That's basically why I created my channel. I just wanted to make more friends. And then she also asked what book got you into reading and I don't know exactly what book got me into reading because I read a ton as a kid but what got me back into reading as an adult was Gone Girl by Gillian Flynn. I read that when it first came out and it made me love thrillers so that was definitely one that thrust me back into the reading scene. And then she also asked, what is your favorite book of all time? And that is a really tough question, Kendra, so I cannot answer that exactly. But this year, a couple of my favorites would definitely be Eleanor and Grey by Brittany C. Cherry, and then also The Silent Patient by Alex Michalides. Those ones I would highly, highly recommend. And then Debbie asks how many books I read a month, and I read at least 30 books a month, about one book a day, possibly more, depending on the month. And then she also asked, what is my favorite genre? And my two favorite genres are romance as well as thrillers. And then Nicole asks, what is the worst and best thriller you've ever read? So for the best thriller I've ever read, that is such a hard question because I've read a lot. You guys know I read a bunch, so really hard to narrow that down. I loved Pretty Girls by Karen Slaughter. That might be one of my absolute favorite thrillers, so I'd probably say that is my favorite. And then for the worst, that's also a tough question. I think I might have to say Nine Perfect Strangers by Leanne Moriarty. That one is not so much a thriller, but it is categorized under that. And that one I really, really didn't like. And it made me realize I don't like health or tree or resort type of thrillers. So yeah, that one was a no for me. And then Library of Tomes asked, if you could read only one subgenre for the rest of your life, what would it be? I would say contemporary because that could be a thriller. That could also be romance. So I would choose contemporary. And then Shelly asked me a few things. She wants to know my history, like where I'm from, where I went to school, siblings, jobs, etc. So I'm from California and I've lived in California my whole life. I live in Northern California, close to San Francisco, and I live on an Air Force base. And I grew up in the Bay Area, about 40 minutes from San Francisco, so that's kind of where my childhood was. So I had one sibling who unfortunately passed away. He was an older sibling. And then I ended up going to college at UC Davis, which is about an hour, an hour and a half from San Francisco. It's actually closer to the California capital, Sacramento. And this is a really great school. And I double majored in English and communication and I got my degree back in 2016. And I really, really loved that school. And I actually only live 20, 25 minutes away from there. So I still visit and it's really near and dear to my heart. And I've been married to my husband, Jordan, for the past three and a half years. And I met him online and he is in the Air Force. And we have one daughter together who's 14 months old and her name is Avery. And my past jobs is I used to work retail when I was younger. Then I was a personal stylist. Then I did some makeup artistry. And then I did property management after college. And that was what I did right before I ended up becoming a stay at home mom. And now I don't work. And then she asked me what my favorite book was as a kid. And that is also a hard question. I really liked The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe when I was in elementary school. I loved that one a lot. I'm sure there's a bunch more that I would say would be my favorite, but that is like the first one that comes to my head. What is my favorite book as an adult? I kind of already answered that. So I'm going to say Eleanor and Gray and The Silent Patient. Those are what come to mind for this year. What are my other pastimes? So aside from reading, I really like hiking. I love to cook. I like bullet journaling and doodling and kind of artistic things. I really want to learn how to watercolor paint. That is one of my things that I want to learn how to do. I love water sports, so kayaking, things like that. Those are probably my favorite outdoor activities. So hiking and then water sports. What place do I want to travel to the most? And I really want to visit Hawaii again. I've been there several times, but I'm just dying to go to the beach. And then I would love to go travel around Europe again, especially France, because I do speak French. I took it in high school and college for about five years. So it'd be really fun to go to a French speaking country. And then she asked me a few key personality traits and I would definitely say I am a type A personality person. I'm really organized and focused and really motivated. I've always been really punctual. 
I'm very goal oriented. I did really, really well in college. Putting my mind on something and achieving that goal, I'm very good at it. So I'm a very determined type of person and I wouldn't say I have a lot of chill in me, whereas my husband is way more relaxed than me. I'm a little more wound up. I do have anxiety, so I'm not as much of a chill person. But over the years being together, he's definitely rubbed off on me and I've become more chill than I used to be. And then Terrell asked me, which romance authors do you feel are criminally underrated? I would definitely say Candy Steiner. She's one of my favorite romance authors and I don't hear enough people talking about her. So I'd definitely say probably Candy Steiner. And then which romance authors do you feel are overrated? Honestly, I don't really have an answer to this question. I don't know a lot of romance authors that I've read them and just really disliked their books. I read one by Lauren Blakely and I hated it, but I've only read one by her, so I have no idea how the rest of her books are. So I don't want to just like write her off just because I didn't like one of her books. But that's the most recent author I can think of that I really didn't like her romance novel. And then she also asks if there's a popular author from one genre that you want to see write in a different genre, which one would you pick? Also a hard question. I think maybe Taylor Jenkins Reid. I would love to see her write a thriller because she's written romance contemporary as well as historical fiction. So I'd love to see what she would do with like a psychological thriller because she's really good with character development. And I think that's super crucial sometimes in thrillers. So I'd love to see where she takes that. She also asks, which books about strong female friendships would you recommend to fans of The Golden Girls? I do not watch The Golden Girls. I know that is an older show, like from the 80s maybe. So I can't really give a recommendation per that show, but about women friendships, I would say Ellen Hildebrand is a really great author that writes about women relationships well, as well as Kristen Higgins. She also writes amazing books about women relationships, sisters, friends. There's that book by her called Good Luck With That about a ton of girls who went to like fat camp together and now they're adults and they're all struggling in their own right in their life. So I think those authors definitely. And then she asks, what are my favorite movies from the 1980s? And I would definitely say Can't Buy Me Love and that has Patrick Dempsey in it before he did Grey's Anatomy. He was so adorable there. And then I also really love Ferris Bueller's Day Off. That one has me laughing out loud every time I watch it. So those are probably my two favorites. And then Xena asks me, do I reread books? And I do very rarely. I would love to reread books more, but I just never have the time with all the new books I have. And then she said, if so, what are some of my favorite books to reread? I would say probably not thrillers because then you already know the twist. So I'm not a big fan of rereading thrillers. If I was to reread a book, I would reread something that just emotionally impacted me where the story itself just won my heart in some way. I'm probably gonna be rereading a book this month, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I read it last year, but it's gonna be my book club pick for the book club I created for the spouses of my husband's squadron. So I wanna reread it to freshen up before the end of the month. And I do reread like historical fiction occasionally. I reread Lilac Girls and it really emotionally impacted me. So probably ones that just really meant a lot to me emotionally. Definitely not thrillers, just because I already know the twist. And then she also asked me, are there any genres that you don't read or haven't read much from that you're interested in getting into? Maybe science fiction. I do like science fiction thrillers, so maybe I would like to read more of those. Other than that, there's not a whole lot of genres out there that I'm interested in. And then Ashley asked me, who are my favorite booktubers? So for big booktubers, obviously Lala. I love books on Lala, she's amazing. I don't read a lot of the same books as her at all, but her personality is just really easy to watch and I love her vlogs, so I love her content. And then I really like Riley Marie. I really like her vlogs and her content. But again, I don't read a ton of the same books as her. So for big booktubers, those are probably some of my top favorites. And then for some smaller booktubers, I really like Jacqueline over at Weeby Bookin. I also like Kendra over at Kendra Loves Books. Then I have Nicole over at the Girly Girl Bookworm. Her and I are really good friends. I really like Avery and Avery Loves Books or something. I, I'll link them all down below. And then we have Tia from Tia and All the Books. Beth from Beth and the Books. We have Audrey from Chapter and Converse. There's Ashley over at Ash Heart Books. There are just so many, I can't even think of them all right now. So I'll list as many as I can down below, but I do watch quite a few people. And then Ashley also asks, what's your favorite book you've read that you heard about or was hyped on booktube? I think I would say The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. That one was really talked about on booktube and I love that book. And then Ashley also asked what is my favorite type of booktube video to film and Jackie also asked me that. 
and I would say my favorite type of booktube video to film would definitely be recommendation videos. I love creating those videos. I always pick five books under a subgenre that I like and I want to share with you guys. And those are my favorite to plan for and read for. And they're probably easier to film than say like a vlog for me. They're just really quick and to the point and I personally like quicker videos like that. So definitely my favorite types of videos to film. So those are all the questions that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.